What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something that's been requested for a long time on and mostly all the forums and everything. I am going to be showing you today how to play Pokemon Go on your PC. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this link that is going to be in the description and download this program called Visor for Mac and it is also for Windows. Um, I've already got it installed so I'm actually going to be installing the program myself but what you are going to want to do, like I said, is click that link in the description and it will take you to this. And after that is done, you are going to want to head over onto your phone. And if you don't know how to do it, you're going to want to be able to unlock the developer options on your phone. And to do this, go on to settings, make your way over down to the bottom to about, go to software, information, more, and then build number. You're going to click on that six or seven times. I have already have it done, so it's not actually going to do it for me. But after you've done that, I'm going to head over to developer options and then click this little box here. Don't worry about it, it's nothing bad. And then make sure that USB debugging is set to be on on your phone, otherwise, this application will not work. Once that's done, I'm going to have my screen for my phone and for the actual application on my laptop. Um, you are going to want to find your phone on your screen. Um, mine's already connected, so I haven't actually find it myself, but it will have a find phone button there. Once your obviously your device is connected for USB, and then you're going to click view phone. Once that's done, as you can see, my phone screen is on my PC, and I once you've kind of like messed about the options and that, depending on how good your PC is, is depending on how good you can use the options on it. But once that's done, save those options, and then you can basically just use your phone as, well, use your PC as your phone. So this is much easier if you want to play a bit of Pokemon Go, look at some Instagram stuff, Snapchats, all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to actually load up Pokemon Go now just so you can see what it's like playing it on the PC and not playing it on the phone. Okay, so now Pokemon Go is loaded up. As you can see, I'm using my mouse to click on it while it is doing exactly the same thing on my phone. I'm just going to obviously click around a bit and we're going to spin a Pokestop to show you that every single function on this does work. Like I said, depending on the actual performance of your phone to your PC, it's going to be a bit laggy or it's not going to be laggy obviously plus I'm recording on my PC while I'm recording on my phone while being both plugged in together with this application running so it's going to be a bit more laggy for me as well but like I said you can now play Pokemon Go on your PC obviously if you're going to be using this for spoofing you're going to have to have the spoofing application onto your phone and here I'll just show you me opening up my camera and I'm actually going to show you me taking a video on my camera while it's recording on my camera on my phone while it is on the application on my PC of me closing the camera. It's a bit confusing, but it, you'll, you'll see what I mean when you watch it. And I go clicking on the screen and it does exactly the same thing on my phone. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's been informational. If you do want to see more videos like this and you've enjoyed this, please click that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. This has been 40 and I'm out. Peace.